Yo, yo, this is Wasabi7, and today I am going to take a walk. And I do this because, as I've said before on the channel, um, part of the reason that I love doing this so much, not walking, I mean, I do like doing that, but, you know, YouTubing, is because it really helps, you know, it helps me, like, remember things in the past, like, it doesn't even have to relate to what's going on. But if I record a video and I watch it, I remember exactly what kind of person I was, exactly how I was, you know, who my friends were, um, even as much as like what classes in school I was taking, you know, even if it's just a let's play video and has absolutely nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like a, you know, like a diary of some sort. So, uh, basically, I, uh, I plan to move at, uh, the beginning of summer, this next upcoming summer, summer of 2020, um, and it'll actually be the first time that I move anywhere out of the city that I have lived in for my entire life, so it's, uh, you know, I feel like it's a big step. I don't really know a whole lot of people in the place that I'm going to either, because, you know, I've lived here my whole life. Nearly everybody that I know is from here. So, uh... Anyways, I guess the reason I'm recording this is just because I think it'll be nice to be able to, you know, come back and watch this. Because, you know... This could be the last, uh... One of the last few times that I walk this trail. In this whole area. I guess it's not a trail the entire way. I'll be walking along the road for a little bit of it, but like... Uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like it'll be nice to, you know, come back and watch this if I'm homesick or something. Actually, maybe it'll be really self-destructive, I don't know, but uh, we'll see. But I also really like this, this path too, this whole trail. It's really, uh, you know, there's this specific place I'm living in, I've lived in for a uh, good, good chunk of my life, so, you know. I remember this this trail specifically since, I mean, you know, a really long time ago. Most of my life. I've got a lot of memories from this place. <laughs> um, so, yeah. The, uh, by the way, if the video cuts out or anything, or, you know, there's like a jump cut, it's just because, like, maybe, I don't know, a car moved past and I accidentally recorded the person's face or, you know, somebody came up and talked to me. I don't, you know, I don't want to breach anybody's privacy, so. I mean, you know, I kind of doubt that it would amount to anything harmful to them, but, you know, might as well be uh, considerate, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm kind of afraid of moving, to be honest. Like, I, s I want to, because the place I'm living now, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a dead end, you know? I mean, there's no... There's nothing here for me, I feel like, you know? Or if there is, it would take too much effort to get. I mean, the cost of living here is so damn high that, you know, I would have to pull so much. Ugh. Man, nobody's used this trail in a while. <laughs> um, you know, I'd have to pull so much to actually achieve uh, anything. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, you know, unless I get lucky and, you know, win the lottery or something, but that's not a good thing to rely on. So, uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of it. Another reason is I, you know, being that I've lived in this city, this, not just this state, but this specific city my entire life, 
you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of potential for other stuff. A lot of stuff that I haven't seen or experienced before. I mean, I've been out of the city in my life. You know, I've gone on, like, trips and things like that, but just, you know, never really lived anywhere else. I mean, I think the longest that I've been away from... Uh, sorry, I didn't think of the wind. Sorry if the wind is loud. <laughs> it's, uh, I think the longest that I've ever been away from home was maybe a month and a half. So... It'll definitely be a change, I think, but I think it'll be a change for the better, too. Because, you know, while I don't want to leave here, I think it's pretty much just because of familiarity. I think it's pretty much... Oh, this trail leads to somebody's house. That didn't used to happen. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess it's been a while. I guess it's been a while since I walked through here. Well, anyway, yeah, I, um, I kind of, yeah, I mean, I don't want to leave here because everybody that I know is here. All my friends are here, you know, everybody that's, that means anything to me, really. Well, not, I guess I have, you know, family outside of, outside of the city, but just, you know, as far as friends. There's not a lot of other people that I actually are, am friends with that aren't here. So it's like, I kind of lose everything by leaving. Plus, I'm familiar with this place, so I don't have to learn anything new anytime soon. It's just that, you know, when I think of staying here for the rest of my life, or any extended period of time, really, I don't know, I just I kind of feel like I'm never going to do anything, you know? I'm never going to amount to anything. <sighs> so I don't know, I mean, maybe I'll move back after a while. When I tell people that, I mean, I've been, you know, in times when it comes up in conversation that I'm leaving. Some people have been kind of indifferent with it, and some people really want me to stay. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know, I mean, what do I do? <laughs> I mean, I'm planning to move. I know that's going to happen, but I guess I don't know that I'm going to stay down there. I do know, though, <laughs> that when I do move down there, I'll have um, access to much better, much more stable internet, so I can start streaming regularly. So that'll be fun. And if there's anything I'm looking forward to, it's that. But yeah, I mean, something I think that's um, kind of a big, big part about it. Jesus, it has been a while since I walked up here. This is steep as hell. <laughs> Um, you know, something else about it is if I move, so what? It's not like I can't move back. I mean, it would, you know, take some time and money and time to get the money to be able to, but, you know, it's not impossible. It took time and money to plan to move down there. So, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I am... I don't know, there's just been some days where I come home after a day and I just think to myself, shit, it could be the last time I do that, you know, something specific that I did the day. Or like, you know, there was a fair, like a, like a street fair that happens here every year. It's probably my favorite event of the entire year. And... You know, this skewer could be the very, very last time that I ever do it. You know? I mean, 
there's some people, you know, like at school that just move. So, you know, those are people that I never see again. Or people that I drop, that drop out. Oh, sorry for the heavy breathing. You know, usually when I walk, I'm always sort of like thinking to myself. And sometimes even like, you know, well, kind of talking to myself, but not out loud like this. <laughs> I mean, the only reason that this works is because if somebody sees me, you know, walking around talking to a phone, they're going to assume that I'm talking to a, you know, a person live. <laughs> Like, on the phone, so... Let's see, I think our turn... It's just down here. Wow. Believe it or not, this used to be a path. You know, I think at some point... <clears throat> I might make this video again. Actually, maybe I'll make it like three more times. I'll make it once more when it's winter and everything is, you know, totally covered in snow. I'll make it a third time. Gosh, maybe the reason the path isn't here is just because of, I mean, something tore up a lot of the ground here. Yeah, somebody must have drove through here with a tractor or something, because the ground is super, super loose. <clears throat> Anyways. But yeah, then I'll record it um, a third time in the spring. Third time in the spring. Um, when the snow is mostly melted, but it's still kind of cool. And then once more in the summer, just, just before I move. And that way I can have like a whole, <laughs> uh, oh, what's the word? Compendium, I suppose, of, of this walk in every season. And some meta commentary to go with it, I suppose. <sighs> you know, I've always thought that Power lines and trees look kind of creepy, especially in the night. Just these ominous towers leering down at you. Oh, I think this is the path. Man, I should walk this more. It's getting, uh, it's getting beat up. But yeah, and the freaky thing is, is that you know that they're alive. And there's a lot of trees, a lot of plants in general that just, that do indeed have the capacity to know, or at least to feel, if something is close to it. So it's like when you're walking through the forest, you know that everything here knows that you're there. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. I don't actually know a whole lot about trees specifically. Okay, that looks like a beehive. Hmm. Or a bird nest. Right in the middle of the path. Or it could just be fallen trees. Well, maybe this will shape up to be a pretty interesting video. Oh man, that's really dense. Kind of wanting to go around. Although, to be honest... If I go around and hit one of these trees, it's going to shake this. Alright, well, I, honestly, it kind of just looks like that the easiest way... Whoa. No, I think these, these are just leaves. It still looks like the easiest way to not touch anything would just be to sort of do a little bit of this. 
a little bit of that and we're well, and we're good what the hell are you doing here single marshmallow looking ass mushroom <laughs> Uh, I am going to miss this place. I don't want to move away, I think, is it? Because I love the weather here. I love the atmosphere. Most of the people are pretty good. And like I said, all my friends are here and everything. But it's just so hard to find ways to get money, you know? This is not a growing place, too. It's, you know, kind of on a steady decline. And I don't, you know, I hate to contribute to that, but just, you know, the kind of government leadership that we've been getting lately with people who are voted in and elected, not presidentially, but as far as the state and the city goes, it's just like a hectic spiral where nobody actually cares enough to do anything. Where everybody relies on one thing, no matter how little of that thing that you have left. Hey, I remember this log, this tree. I was walking somebody's dog once, and it ran under the tree here. I was holding on, and then it just broke. The leash broke, and the dog chases off at like 20 miles an hour through the woods. And I'm just standing there like, oh, because then I realize, oh shit, it's not the leash that broke, it's his fucking collar. So here I am, standing there, leash in my hand, collar in my hand, or I guess collar at the end of the leash, and somebody else's dog in thick-ass forest like this, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is, this couldn't get a lot worse. So I, you know, called out for the dog, and... Kept walking. Okay, this is new. But anyways, called out for the dog. I kept walking. I didn't want to run after it, because with that specific dog, and with a lot of dogs in general, if you start chasing them, then they just run like, like it's a race. Which I can understand, but it's annoying. <laughs> but luckily it came back to me, and I was able to catch it and get its collar and leash back on. So, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm running out of commentary. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'll just say, start saying the same thing again. I know I've repeated a lot of... Uh, a lot of, oh my god, there are leaves all over me. <laughs> um, I know I've already repeated a lot of the topics, you know, points, pros and cons about moving. I always thought that this place looked kind of spooky, you know? Like how the, how suddenly it's like super clear here. There's not like shitloads of brush and extra trees like that. Meanwhile, you've got all of this looking down at you. Looks nice though. I mean, you know, if you can get past how ominous it looks like. Look at this. It's just a giant dead tree with mushrooms growing out on it. If this were a video game or a horror game or something, you'd think it would like sprout arms and reach out at you. Looks like there's the other half of it. Also with mushrooms. Oh god, it smells really bad over here. Something must have died. It smells... Well, like that, it smells like death. Okay, well... I'm looking for somewhere specific. I know the path keeps going that way, but I know it doesn't go the way I want to go. So I think going this way will do it. Ooh, hey, look at that. Is this one of these puffy, puffy mushrooms? Yes, it is. Aw, oh, 
You can barely see it on the camera. You can't see it at all on the camera. Weird. Well, it's one of those mushrooms where if you step on it, there's like a huge amount of like green gas that comes out of it. And it looks really cool. Well, hopefully by the time I rewatch this video, I'm, uh, ah, there it is. By the time I rewatch this video, I'm happy in my new place, streaming regularly. <sighs> well, that was fun. Sorry for the lack of a video yesterday. I uh, recorded it and then promptly deleted it without even realizing it until about half of the day went by and I thought, oh, hey, I should get to uploading that video. And I remembered, oh yeah, I also cleaned out my desktop and of course decided that today is the day I'm gonna delete everything from the recycle bin. So, I mean, fortunately nothing actually, you know, big happened in that video, but you know, it wasn't important. And, like I said, hopefully, by the time I'm rewatching this video, it is just a memory. <laughs> oh, I want to keep talking, but I feel like if I do keep talking, that uh, I'm never really going to stop. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this episode's going to take forever to... Uh, episode, I guess, not really an episode. Well... An episode, I suppose. Maybe I could start a series of just, like, walking and commentating. I could. Hmm. It'd be hard to keep private a lot of things. Because these are really the only woods that I have, like, super easy access to. So I think it would be, uh, you know, walks through the city and stuff like that would start to... Eh, maybe I won't. But I guess that is episode one if I do follow this up with other... You know, the same walk in different seasons. Okay, I'm starting to ramble like I always do at the end of, you know, specific videos, I guess you could say like this. Oh, hey, can I? Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. Well, you learn something new every day, I guess. Anyway, I guess that'll be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to join the Chorus Rebellion. If you have any suggestions for... I'd say games for me to play, but this wasn't really a game, so videos, I suppose, in general, <laughs> for me to make. Or uh, wasting my commentating, more enjoyable, don't hesitate to leave a comment. That's about it. See ya.